Faith, honey, can you go play over there? Hey, I'm almost done here. Did you need something? Did Xavier keep any of Radcliffe's texts to himself? Anything he wanted kept hidden from the others. If something did exist, why would you need it? We already have the book on Ascension. I just want to understand something. Call it peace of mind. What's in it? Xavier never told me. I found this in his office after he was gone, but I never got around to opening it. Shit. What is it? It's Radcliffe's journal. How did Xavier have it? In my restless dreams, I see their forlorn visages. I hear their piercing cries. I feel their swollen hearts. I am there, but also not. Their agony becomes mine own, and I wish for death, though it never comes. A far worse wretch awaits. Rachel, maybe we aren't meant to read this. Purifier or pestilent, I know not, for they often appear to me as one, indistinguishable. Though my heart-sick soul is glad, for when I glance into its black, lidless gaze, I see that it is also me. I don't understand. The purifier. The Pestilent. The Great Empath. What if they're one and the same? What? It's right here. Not even Radcliffe could distinguish between them. Maybe... Maybe the Heralds were right. You think this Great Empath is here to save us? It sounds more like a monster. I... I don't know. Rachel, you can't let their lives cloud your judgment. Not when we're so close to saving your daughter. Krista, Radcliffe writes that the Foundation wasn't the only group delving into the mysteries of the Withering. That there's more we don't understand. So how do we know Ascension will work? It has to. I need you. I love you, Astrid. How can I... I... Go. Mama! Orson! Go! I'll be fine here. Faith? Faith? Faith, wait! Faith? What's wrong, Rachel? Isn't it time to start the ritual? No. This isn't happening. Come sit with me, Rachel. Joy, I... I said shit. Good. Now say the words. I'll do it with you. I am blighted. My words are woe. My deeds are rot. Say it. I am blighted. My words are woe, my deeds are rot. But, but I am, I not am lost. lost. By hallowed blade, By hallowed blade I draw, blade, out, my I draw out my affliction. Now give me your arm, your wrist. No, this is what you told me to do. 
You said it would save me! I... I'm sorry, Joy. If... if I hadn't doubted, maybe... maybe you'd be alive. You really think I died because you had doubts? The monster... it, it came and... No. Rachel, you killed me! No! That's not what happened! I... I was trying to give you a new life! I helped you, remember? We agreed that you needed help. You didn't give me a choice. You told me I was broken, beyond repair, and only the Foundation could fix me. But when it didn't work, you killed me to save face! No! No, that's not what happened! I wouldn't ever... Do what? Say it! Please, make it stop! Say it! Why did you kill me? Faith? Orson! Orson! Orson? Orson! Well... Are you going to help me cook, or just stand there? Speak up, girl! I didn't raise a goddamn mute! Where is he? <sighs> the little sutra cop is getting washed up for dinner. If you're going to continue being worthless here, I suggest you do the same. I just want Orson. I'll just take him, and... We are going to sit down! Together, as a family. Those people, they want to ruin our dinner. They want to ruin our family. Maggots. Eating away at the foundations of this family, all these years. I can feel it, you know. The rot in this house. They brought it with them. All those years ago, with their harassment, their meddling, those vermin poisoned you against me. They say if I give them Orson, they'll leave us be. <laughs> Don't be stupid. The only thing you can do with vermin is exterminate them. What are you saying? It's time Orson got blood on his hands. Show this town who the Johansons really are! Blood? But I... Orson! I washed my hands! Are you okay, Angel? Leave him! He's fine! Now go get your sister. Dinner is almost ready. Mama... Right. No, you stupid girl! The other one. Yes, Mama. I... I didn't kill you. I tried to leave, and you wrapped your hands around my throat and squeezed until I went limp! Why would I do such a thing? You tell me! The Foundation lied to me, and I let them. Even now, you're still lying to me, Rachel. No, Joy. I believed in what we were doing. I thought I was helping you. But now, I know. I let myself become pestilent in the name of purity. You see it now. But it's too late for me, Rachel. 
mommy? You shouldn't be in here. It's not safe. Rachel, it's time. Okay. Hey, Astrid. Hey. Ava. Mama. She wanted me to come get you. For dinner. Was she mad? When she found out what I did? Yeah. I just... I just wish I wasn't afraid all the time. That day, the day I... Mama had hit me so hard. I couldn't see out of one of my eyes. Mama's abuse, Papa's passivity. I have to take a stand, Astrid. She won't like it, but I have to do this. Ava, I... I'm sorry. I know. Me neither. Those fanatics could still be around. It has to be here. This is where it all started. Where are the others? We're the only ones here. scared. I know, sweetie. But whatever happens, I want you to listen to exactly what Krista tells you to do, okay? Is everyone ready? My brother wasn't. Miss Nora? Nora, what are you doing? After Eric told me what really happened to my brother, I went back to your house. My house. I found these. What are they? You tell me. One of them was addressed to me. Another to Alice Grady. Mary Fields. Tom Caldwell. Lucy Coleman. I don't understand. Still having trouble remembering? 
me? They're letters to the steel mill victims' families. You were the one sending me those letters, Rachel. No, it's not possible. Even now, more lies. It's not possible because I never sent them! I didn't mean for it to happen that way. The mill was failing. I was failing. And so the owners decided to sell. We put the workers on overtime to make the numbers look better. I had a fight with the foreman, so one night I... I... I, I locked the doors to the mill to make sure they'd keep working. Oh my god. You killed them. Toby's drunken stupidity did. I had to lock them in. I was going to lose everything. We all were. <laughs> Mommy? Why are you crying? Your mother did something very bad, Faith. Your daddy, too. And then she joined a fucking cult, and together they did more bad things. But you? You're very good. Don't hurt her! Rachel, I'm not a monster. Not like you. Are you okay? We have to start the ritual. Krista! Right. Let's go. There you are. Well, what the hell are you waiting for? Sit down! Your papa and your younger sister aren't here. Very rude. I don't think we need to wait for them, Mama. What did I ever do to deserve such a disrespectful family? Especially you. Always sneak enough to do God knows what. Drugs and boys, if I had to guess. But I know what you did, girl! You brought shame on this family! You're useless! Useless drit! And if I had my way, I'd... No, Mama. What did you just say to me, girl? I said no, Mama. I'm not letting you talk to me like that any longer. I'll talk to you any way I goddamn like, girl. I earned that right when I gave birth to such an entitled little fitta. You think you're the only one in this family who's had it hard? Have you any idea what I went through because of what you did? Damn it, Mama, is nothing ever your fault? I did what I did because of you. Tell her, Astrid. Tell her what it was like living here. She's right, Mama. Every day living here was like torture. You abused us again and again, while Papa did nothing about it. Mutiny! Against your own mother! Well, Mama knows exactly how to punish this disobedience! Astrid. Why don't you tell your sister what we did? Well, go on, girl. Speak up! Astrid? Hmm. Nothing to say now, do you? You remember, don't you, Astrid? What we did together? You remember picking that wolf spain for me in the woods? You remember sitting right here, at this table, while we gave your sister the tea? You remember comforting her? Making her feel she was safe.
Until it was too late. Clean up this mess. Take her out back. Spray her down with kerosene. No. No. An immolator! No. Incinerator! No. No. Burn her to bits and bury what's left! No. Are you okay, Mama? I will be. Let's go, Angel. Great purifier, shed us of our unrighteous blight that we may present ourselves blameless before you. Faith, stay close to me. Close your eyes. Faith? Rachel, you have to finish the ritual. Say the words. Great purifier, carry, carry us to your, your promised place. place. Free, free of pain, pain. Free, free of light. Ah. Great purifier, carry us to your promised place.
Are you okay? I heard shouting inside. We're okay, Leo. There's the boy! Give us the boy so we can end this! You came here for my son, but you will never take him. He said those things after us. He's a monster. He's scared, just like you. He doesn't understand this any more than I do. Take the boy! My family has been through enough. I won't let you do this to my son. It stops with him. You're the ones doing it to him. If so, then I'm the only one who can stop it. It's not your place. Now get off our farm! You can't kill us all! I'm not my sister or my father. I don't want to hurt any of you, but I'll do what I need to if you come for my son. One way or another, this ends now. Orson? Leo? Anyone? At last, here we are. Mama, please make it stop. Me? You did all this to yourself. You abused me. All of us. You brought this on our family! I tried to make you strong! I... I was a child! I needed you to be my mother, not a monster! Because you're weak! No! I'm not! I'm not like you! I'll stand up for Orson! I'm not afraid to fight you anymore! Like you taught me, Papa. know why you're here. I'm the reason the withering is here. I made a mistake. No. A choice. But no more. I know what I've done and what I have to do.
Thank you for letting me save them. Asta would have been proud of you. Astrid. Yes? I just... Mama! Where is it? I was looking for you. Mama, I'm hungry. Oh. Come on, Mama. Okay, Ivana. Over. Really over. After all this time. Yeah. It's up to us to keep it that way, right? It's up to us. Right. Never again. Come on, Mama. <laughs> hey, Angel. Everything's okay now, right, Mama? Yes, Orson. We're good now. Monsters? I don't remember any of that. That's a good thing to forget. And Daddy is gone? Forever? You know he loved you very much. And always looked out for you no matter his flaws. But it's just you and me now, Faith. I'm afraid. There's no reason to be. Not anymore. Okay? Okay.
no more.